Hi there and welcome to my channel. I have a really exciting art haul today because I visited my sister in Edmonton and I was able to visit two places where I got some goodies. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let me start with the, uh, the ones that I got from the grocery store. I found this jumbo dice. It's not really artsy related, but I like to do dice games where you. Um, let me just open it. It's too noisy. Six different animals and six different occupations and six different places, and then you roll the die. And then whatever falls, and as it coincides with uh, the list, then you get to roll a different um, scenario every single time and it's it's really fun if you start collecting different situations as well so you can have a different list of animals and then a different list of places and a different list of activities so you can be I don't know um, cats will be the character and then they're playing baseball in space or fun things like that so sometimes I, I do that for for inspiration so I got this really really huge die. Um, and yeah I like it because it goes very well with my really really tiny set of dice And the next thing that I got from the grocery store is this over here. It's a, a gift card holder, but I really liked it because it's the, it's, it's really nice. And um, yeah, it'll work very well for holding pans of um, watercolors, like a soul. So it's metallic, so it's gonna hold. Yeah, so I got that just to upgrade my, my plain tin to something with more colors. So I got that. Let's go to the next store. The name of the store was The Prince and the Paper. It was beautiful. It, it was, hmm, I don't know how to describe it. It was just like entering into an ideal little store that you will see in a movie or in a TV show with all the knickknacks and all the nostalgia little dolls and they had a lot of really unique things that I haven't seen anywhere else like cuckoo clocks and rag dolls and storybooks and paper crafts and I found a whole bunch of like really eclectic um, I want to say art supplies, I guess art supplies but just really eclectic thing so the first thing that i found was this it's so cute it is a little tiny little set of um color pencils and so it comes with the color pencils and a little eraser and a little uh, pencil sharpener for the little tiny pencils and they all fit very nicely in this little card size container, I don't know, plastic thing. It's just, it's really slim too. And the color pencils are so adorable. Look at them, they're so tiny. And they're functional. I, I did test them out and they're really nice. Well, I mean, they're not like super buttery, but they're, they're nice for a on the go kit. And they're very, very, convenient I guess. So yeah, isn't that cute? Okay, the next thing I found there was this. I haven't been able to find this uh, type of pencils anywhere. Anywhere. So I was really excited when I found them there. Uh, Mitsubishi, they're supposed to have like the, um, the lead. And this ones are supposed to be really nice. So let's test them out because I haven't actually test them out here yet. Oh, that's nice. So this is just a 2B. That's nice. I, I like it. So it can go very dark. It, it how do I, this, how do I, how can I describe this? It's, um, you know, sometimes when you're writing and it's really rough and you can feel the the uh, the writing part just get 
This is no snack, but catch it hitches. It's it, it, it's just really hard against the paper. This one just glides nicely. And it's pretty dark, and I like that. Very nice. I like that. Okay, the next thing, and I kind of regret getting this because <laughs> you'll see later, but I wanted to have something um, that I could put in my... <laughs> in my uh, little bag i have a what do you call them fanny packs anyhow it's just like uh, because most pants don't have pockets don't get me started with that um i just have like a fanny pack where i have all my stuff um that i need to carry because i'm a mom <laughs> and so amongst all the things i wanted to have a small um sketching notebook and i found this and i thought it was pretty cute and it fit just right in in the size of um old bag that i have so yeah now you're back gonna open it don't worry about me i'm just gonna get a pointy thing <laughs> so yeah this one and it, this one doesn't say that it's like for sketching it's just a, a plain one and it has number pages so the color is what did me in. I really like this color, so I just thought it was it was cute. But I think it was a little bit overpriced for what it is. Not gonna lie. Yeah, there we go. And it's only 80 GM, so there's that it's not definitely not for any <laughs> any playing with any water mediums whatsoever i would be afraid to use ink even on these pages because they seem pretty pretty thin as they are yeah low-key i kind of regret this <laughs> but we'll see maybe I'll, I'll love it when i start using it oh my god and people signed it oh my goodness are they famous Probably not. That's neat. Oh, okay. that's kind of nice. Okay. Check this out. So, because they are so thin, like the, the pages are so flimsy. <laughs> I bet there's like people that love this um, type of notebooks and I'm just <laughs> a little bit bitter about them right now. But because they're so thin, See through, you can actually put that template on the back, and then it makes. I don't know if you can see it here through this camera. You can see the lines through, so you can just start writing without actually having to put the lines there or the grid on the back. And you can start doing things without being all skewed because of uh, not having a ruler or something. It's kind of a neat feature. And it has two bookmarks. It also has like an index. That's nice. I guess this is gonna be a um, a little travel sketch with their own that I'm only gonna use with um, pencil, just pencil sketchbook. But the color, look at the colors, so pretty. It's like a greeny blue and blue that is kind of green. So yeah this one and this because i uh, didn't want to have my my pencil just like floating around this happened to me before that i have a pencil in a pocket or something and then i forget i have it and then i sit somewhere and then i get stabbed because i forget i have it so i think i'm gonna put it in this one over here or, or in another one and then it's just gonna live i'm gonna just make sure I choose a pencil that is just the length of the, the thing so they live together so there's less of a chance of me stabbing myself with a rogue pencil. Yeah, cool, cool. cool pens.
for the next one, uh, it was a tough day that day. I, I needed to get my son to fall asleep, but he wouldn't fall asleep in a new environment. So I decided to go to a store that was like really far away. I guess it was not really, really far away. It was just further than I would have normally gone. But I needed him to sleep and he didn't end up sleeping. So oh, that was a day. Anyhow, I ended up finding this and I know I have purchased one of these ones for my birthday already uh, but I couldn't pass on this ones because the price was so good so good like I'm saying like five bucks and I really really like this type of notebooks I, I it's kind of like the smaller version of the one that I already have the one that I normally use and what I like about that is that the paper is not white white it's more like um has like a little tint of um, yellowy it's like a creamy creamy color paper and I really like that and the paper is, is very nice and thick and um, it is 140 G uh, it's so they're not like the greatest with liquid mediums but they they can withstand some some work on them let me see if I find something like for example this one is the same but like in a, in a different color and i work with acrylics on this one and i like i worked on acrylics on this one I, this layer upon layer upon layer because i wanted to do a, um uh, anyhow i put a lot of layers um on this one and it is pretty good like it warped a little bit but nothing too jarring so i was really happy with how they how they perform with um with different mediums so yeah i really like that type of sketchbooks yeah i'm so happy about this one and i also find this one and i wanted to open it with you guys here so that we can experience this together it seems that this one is like craft paper on the outside and i'm just gonna double check maybe it's just the, the color that it is why don't you open So it is the same size as this one, but the the, the finish of the um, of the cover of this one is is like craft paper. So it's gonna be really easy to customize to make your own. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna design a, a fun custom cover for this one. Oh, this is so exciting. So, yeah. And it has a little... Oh, this is exciting. I'm excited for this one. And on the same note, <laughs> I found this one. So I got also a yellow one and a craft one so I can customize. And they're the same size as this. Well, a little, even a little bit smaller, which is good. Same size, a little bit thicker same-ish size, a little bit thicker, and way more pages for way less. So, oh, I was upsetty spaghetti when I found this one. And I'm like, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for and a really great price and with better pages. So, well, now you know, you live and you learn. So I got a craft one and a yellow one, and then they're, they're gonna be the ones that go with me, uh, like the red one, the chaos one. So, yay! This one. So I found this one. It's a Statler. Is that how you say that? Anyhow, Statler. And I already have a couple of these ones. They're the ones that I used um, fairly frequently. Why? <laughs> Why won't you open? I shall stab you with something pointy too. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, um, I, I did used to have this even before coming to Canada. I had a little set of um, of three and I haven't been able to find it I know I have it somewhere uh, but it was a set of three and it had a red um, 
fine point red ink um, fine point blue ink and um, one of these ones which is like a technical pencil and I found this one because uh, my puppy when he was a, a puppy my puppy is, uh, is not a puppy anymore but I'm always gonna call him a puppy but when he was a puppy puppy he found his way to one of the pencil cases and he like chewed the end of one of these ones so that one was a goner so to replace that one because I found this ones um, and I already misplaced one of them <laughs> but they have different uh, tips so for example this one over here has a marker tip right great wonderful this one over here has more of a ballpoint pen yeah ballpoint pen um, tip and I think this too has like a felt tip like a, a fine point felt tip oh, can you see this there so those ones like that and i think this one is also a yeah, um, ballpoint pen 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 <laughs> but what i like about this one is that it is actually an eraser and i thought it was pretty neat because i don't know if i'm the only one but i always go through this ones like through this ones so fast and then I get very frustrated because you start scratching the paper with this annoying little plastic things so I got one of these ones and then see how they fit perfectly in that, that little space and I think I'm gonna put one of these ones away one that I don't use very much I'm gonna put this no there and it fits like a glove and then like that so that's one of the um different i guess it's a pencil case because it holds pencils and it's a case but yeah so this is one of my pencil cases that i uh, that i have uh, readily available when i'm on the move and I don't know how long I'm gonna be in a place. I just take this one and oh, prepare me for anything. Now the next thing is a pencil sharpener because I didn't have any and I needed one. And I did ask my sister whether or not she had one and she didn't have one and it dawned on me. It, it, it cracked me up because to me, a, a pencil sharpener is one of the I don't know staples no it's just one of the things that you just have in a house you, like you have like four or five maybe even six just somewhere in the house but i asked uh, if she had any pencil uh, sharpening she was like no i don't have that and you don't know me how crazy it is in this day and age i guess because everything is like electronic or digital that you don't really have to write things or if you have to write things you might write it with like a pen or or something like that that having a a, a pencil sharpener is a I, I it never occurred to me that it was not a possibility that that a that a household would not have household would not have a, a <laughs> one of these ones so it was it was interesting to think about and then it made me think of all the things that I, I might take for granted that I have that maybe other um, if you go to somewhere else they might not have like I don't know erasers or something like that. I don't know it just seems like a, such a silly um, such a silly little thing to to have or not have so yeah so this one has two sizes and um, I wanted two sizes because um, Look what I found! I don't know if you remember from like one of my previous um, art hauls that I found my little tiny Lumograph, a 6B. And how I, uh, I told you guys that uh, sometimes I prefer chunky um, art supplies because sometimes I get a carpal tunnel and it's easier for me to like hold things that are a little bit chunkier. And so I found this in their chunky jumbo uh, Lumographs. 
So, Mars Lumograph. So, I was very excited because they even have an 8B. Like, that's extreme, but great. So, yeah. Look at this. Yee! So, let's test them out together. So, that's the HB. And the 2B. With the beginning of spring, it always reminds me of um, this little character that I came up with ages ago. And her name is Danny because she is um, a dandelion. And the whole thing about Danny is that um, it, she was born from um, a conversation that I had in back in high school actually with one of my my then friends is that um, dandelions are flowers too and she keeps saying this no it's a, it's a weed and I'm like what is the difference like it is a flower like it, it flowers and it's pretty so like why wouldn't it be considered um, a flower is that like, nice because it's considered a weed I'm like but it's just a perspective. And then I came across this um, <laughs> this tea. I don't know what the brand is. If I find the brand, I'll, I'll put it up here. But uh, it has little cute little sayings or it's just all that. It's, um, it has quotes. There you go. I knew I was going to get there. It has little quotes on the back of the, the tea bag tag. And one of the quotes said, uh, the only difference between a flower and a weed is perspective or something along those lines. And it reminded me of this and this, and I really like that because it's true. I really like dandelions. They're, they're one of my favorite flowers, that and sunflowers. But yeah, so that was the 6B. It's... interesting I think they're not as creamy as the ones or maybe I'm not remembering correctly they seem a little bit harder like the the composition of the um, graphite seems a little bit harder than what I remember let's see oh that one's nice what are you or the 8B I think I did like a little comic a while back about the different flowers at, as they start to bloom and how all the flowers are a little bit snobby and they're like, oh, we're so beautiful and just Danny is just, he's just happy to be there because many flowers would die at the drop of a hat if this gets too hot or too cold but dandelions, they grow even on gravel and that's that's admirable. And on the same um, thought process, I also got this tiny little eraser because if I was gonna have troubles with a pencil sharpener, I'm pretty sure I was gonna have troubles uh, finding an eraser. So I just got a little tiny eraser. I didn't end up having actually time to use any of this because Makita was being challenging, but here I go, these tiny little things. And it has some, I don't know if you can tell, but it has a pattern of the Statler um, on the side. It's nice and cute and tiny and portable. You can fit in your hand, you can fit in your pocket, and can fit in pretty much anywhere. So yeah, that's that. I know, right? It's a tiny, tiny little one. Yeah. And there's a green one too. Yeah. And there's blue one. You know what? It's so fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want more of that, buddy? And lastly, I found this. <laughs> and is a blender and it's a crayon it's kind of like so this is a caran d'ache and i have my white um humble crayon from crayola so i got this once to see if 
they're any different. They're supposed to be blender crayons, so they're crayons, but they're not supposed to have any um, any color to them. So they're supposed to work like that blender, but just want to test them out. It's definitely thicker. It's more waxy. You can feel it on top of the paper. Like it, it leaves like um, a bump, a residue. It's like it's. Oh, okay. So you can scrape it off too. You can see how how much of a, a difference it makes. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that at all. Interesting idea though. Okay, so it makes a little bit of a difference when you put something on top of it, but not enough to justify the the terrible lumpiness of it. Just a little update on those um, blender crayons. Even though if they say blender, what I'm looking at here on the back says rubber stencils and other surfaces to read highlights and textures. So I can see them working for that and not as blender. So maybe I was just not using them for the correct purpose. So just that disclaimer. And that's all I have for this time around. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around and looking at the fun stuff that I got on this Edmonton trip. Uh, I really appreciate you uh, being here. Uh, please let me know if you like this type of videos because I, I, I've noticed that my art haul videos outperform any other type of content that I create. Uh, so if there's anything that you like to see me use, let me know in the comments and uh, please consider subscribing if you want to see more fun stuff. Bye!